On this episode of Road Dirt, we ride the all-new Royal Enfield Hunter 350 in and around San Diego, then out in the Laguna Mountains. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and we are in not so sunny San Diego <laughs> and not so warm. It's like 58 degrees here right now. And um, for the Royal Enfield 2023 Hunter 350 launch, looking forward to this, getting ready to head out on the road and ride these little 350cc single thumpers. They've actually got several in this um, 350 line. Uh, we first tested the uh, Meteor 350 a couple of years ago. It's a little cruiser that, um, that we had, that uh, fantastic little bike. And then last year down in Savannah, Georgia, got to sample the uh, classic 350. Very vintage 1950s, 1960s military look with that one. And these little bikes right here kind of have this almost hooligan hipster um, vibe about them. And uh, I think they really appeal, look like they're going to really appeal to uh, kind of the millennials and young and younger Gen Zers with this bike. And it's very affordable, very approachable, and um, a whole lot of fun. We're going to be touring all around, riding through the city and uh, the suburbs and then um, take them out into the hill country around here in a little bit. So um, it's going to be fun. I always love these little small displacement bikes and nobody does it better than Royal Enfield. At 5'8", about 150 pounds, this bike fit me to a T. Love it. I'm with Mark Wells from the Royal Enfield. Uh, you guys, you're part of the uh, R&D establishment over in England, right? That's where I'm based, yeah. That's where I'm located at, also the, the UK Tech Center in uh, Leicestershire. Um, yeah. So we've got a facility there with about 170 engineers now, engineers, industrial designers, and then all of the sort of supporting staff around that. Um, but my team is, is very international, so I've got team members based in Chennai, I've got team members based up in Delhi, I've got yeah. uh, team members obviously in the UK, and they're from all over the world, so I've got obviously Indians, Brits, uh, Germans, 
Spaniards, Italians, French, Australians, yeah, you name it, it's from all over. It's great, it's a, a real it is, cultural sort of mixing pot, you know? But it is cool to me that the brand, which started in England, now has actually returned to its homeland as it's, well. I think that's cool. There is a really nice circular story to it, and it, it kind of never really left, actually, so... Yeah. You know, it, it was uh, the bikes were manufactured in, in Britain right up until the end of the nineteen, or the, the end of the nineteen sixties, beginning of the nineteen seventies. So they were still being manufactured, I think, up until seventy one in relatively small volume, but they were still there. Um, but not long after that, it was only about I think eight or nine years after that, somebody saw an opportunity and started importing Indian-made bullets back into the UK. So that story's been there for a long time, and obviously the opening of the Tech Centre in 2017 was just a, a really nice closing of that circle. So yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. That's the case. Well, tell me a little bit of the development behind the um, behind this Hunter 350. This has got. I mean, it's the same power plan as the Meteor and as the Classic, but there's a different tune, it feels like, and a different vibe when you ride it. Tell me a little bit about so, the development of it. The core engine is exactly the same. Yeah. Same transmission, the same engine. Um, there, is a, there is a slightly different map because it's got a different uh, intake and exhaust. So that, that, by changing the, the volumes of the intake and the exhaust, you do have to just tweak the, the calibration. So it's got a slightly different cal on it. Um, it's also got different gearing. So the output sprocket and the, the rear wheel sprocket are slightly different sizings. And of course the wheels themselves have got some of that. Yeah. So it changes how the bike feels. So you get, it's, it's a little bit lighter as well. So you get a little bit more feeling of kind of peppiness and pickup. Um, the power weight ratio is slightly better. So the whole thing just feels a bit more agile and lively. And that's matched by the, the chassis package. So because the geometry, the, the, the rake and trailer, uh, the front rake is a little bit steeper. I've changed the offset, just changed the trailer a little bit. Um, and all of that has helped to make a bike that, that feels sharper and quicker handling and give it those steering inputs and it changes it direction. I mean, it's beautiful. Up in the mountains? Yeah. Man, we were yeah, carving yeah. it with that Will little you? thing. Uh, it's great. I mean, you, Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you were up there good. with us. Um, I think you have a winner in it. Good. Um, I think you got a winner. It. It's certainly, I mean, Hope already, it sells big over here. Already it's done fantastically well. Uh, in, in our domestic market in India, um, you know, the volumes on a monthly basis are huge. We've won awards all over the world now in, in different markets. So, yeah, I think you know, cities like San Diego and, and you know, big cities, places like San Francisco and, and LA, and you know where you've got Atlanta, Atlanta, exactly. Where you've got <laughs> where you've got traffic, you know, and you want something to dodge around the doors and cafe hop and you know go from work to college to wherever. I think it's perfect for that, you know, especially if you're a new rider or you're you're um, you're looking for something that's authentic that's got like a, a real feeling of substance to it which i think it's got yeah. but something that also isn't intimidating it feels manageable just so you can jump on and you can ride around easily enough and i think it's good for it's that. that combination is, is hopefully as you say hopefully a winner so i think so i think you got a winner man thank you Thanks. so much yeah thank you thank Mark. you San Diego and the surrounding countryside is such a beautiful place. Whether crossing the water, riding through the city, or headed toward the hills. The Hunter 350 is so easy to ride, light, flickable, but with plenty of power and great brakes. Overlook. 
Aside from the proven 350cc J-Series engine, this is an entirely reimagined Royal Enfield, geared, well literally and figuratively, and aimed squarely at the age 35 and younger riders and potential riders. Weight has been trimmed, rake and trail are tighter, it rolls on 17 inch rims and rubber, engine mass is more compact and lower in the Harris frame, intake and exhaust valves are modded for an all new silencer, which is actually kind of nice sounding, and a different tune means this iteration feels and sounds like it has more bark and bite than its stable mates, the Classic and the Meteor. Well, so here we are at the end of a day riding the Royal Enfield Hunter 350 um, all over, in, the, out, in and out of traffic and around the city here in the San Diego, out in the suburbs, among the rolling hills and uh, neighborhoods and subdivisions up and down the hills along the shoreline along the pacific ocean that was beautiful just gorgeous unbelievable and then we took them up into the hill country up into the mountains and rode the twisties and um, got on a lot of just great curvy tight roads up in the hill country and uh, man just had a great time the bike is phenomenal uh, around town because it's so light easily maneuverable flickable and then you get up in the mountains and man it you know it doesn't act like a little 350 single thumper i mean the bike really handles curves great it just carves and digs deep and then we had to do some interstate out that way and then back and uh man at one point they uh tried to merge out into traffic and just got on um i5 and uh, i pinned the throttle and the thing took a deep breath and then started chugging its way up to 82 miles an hour for a 350 single number. That ain't bad. So, um, man, I tell you what, um, I always love the Royal Enfield bikes. I am, I've enjoyed every one we've ever gotten to sample, either in press launches or for long-termers. I gotta admit something though. That would look good in my garage next to my personal uh, Triumph Bonneville, the, the little brother. And I think this Hunter 350 just might be my favorite uh, Royal Enfield. It's that good. And they're real, real, super affordable, real approachable, and uh, a whole heck of a lot of fun. So um, check them out, royalenfield.com. And thanks for check, uh, checking out this video. If you liked what you saw, just uh, hit the subscribe button and um, ring the bell and uh, so you can get notifications about future um, content we'll put out. Also, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, uh, Road Dirt TV. And our main motorcycle media site is called RoadDirt.TV. That's our e-magazine. Check us out over there. We got a Spotify music playlist. I think it's like 25 hours worth just of music for the road, 60s, 70s, 80s, some 90s. We're a bunch of old farts. We love the old classics. And um, check out our podcast. So uh, that is at Road Dirt on Apple, Spotify, any of them. You can get to those. That goes one right there. I'm about ready to take off and go do a little joy ride myself just one more time on it. So this is Rob with uh, Road Dirt. Until next time, ride life.